Open Education um, with me, O and Dr. Nisa. Hello. Hello. So here we are at the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation. Today we have a special guest as always. <laughs> Yay, elephant, yes, but people have Yay. Okay, so what are we doing today? Yesterday we did um GTAF, like of course in Thai version. So today is gonna be in English. Um yep. Yeah, what are we doing today? So for today, you guys, so we'll be doing the English version of the veterinary check or the general health check on the elephants, basically. So we'll try to make sure, well, so we'll try to... Oh, I, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to be introducing you guys to the elephants that we have today. So it's basically a little bit different elephant. So. If you can guess the elephant name or if you see the mahouts already, you probably know which elephant that it is. So first, I guess hint, definitely the elephant in front. Uh, a hold on the right ears, of course, is Bo with Kunberm. And of course, the elephant on the behind is not someone that you frequently see. Or if you see her, she's usually with another elephant. So an elephant that has only about half of an ear <laughs> on the right ears is Pulap. So Pulap has been one of our longer stay elephant so she's been working with us for at least a bit maybe about the same time as Bo or probably a little bit longer than Bo so yeah. we have a little bit of different pair yeah. going on today so just to see whether elephants can also change friends around and no they're, they they're, seem, they're, they they were friends um Bo and Pulab used to be together quite a lot in the old day um probably five six or seven years ago mm -hmm. Don't know, but yeah, they are they are good friends. She, both of them. So now we just like an old time catch up, like you know. I haven't seen them catch up yet. They're just like very very busy Oops. eating over here. So you can see that you know, both been trying to grab on all the old grass over here that has been drying out like hay, and she's been crunching them around like potato chips. <laughs> and well, Kulab over there is enjoying yeah. a lot of the reed grass that is growing in this area. So yeah. we're basically here at the Anantara Golden Triangle Elephant Camp Resort. And it's basically this area is the swamp area where usually you'll find the buffalo. Mr. Took stay here usually. So today he moved to another pond, so he's actually swimming in there. And so we decided to bring the elephant out so that they can also explore and then see the, and then also, you know, find something that they want to eat too. Yeah. So. Another special thing for today that we can chat people can put in comments and Ooh. we can answer Ooh. it. <laughs> yes, the live chat option is on today. So you guys, if you guys have questions from yesterday or you have questions today, feel free to, you know, type them down. We also have John, our director is actually standing by on our right to answer any questions that you guys might have. And, you know, um, if you guys are Thai, Swadina Ha, Samla Pon Thai, Tukhan Thi Khao Mashom. Elephant Educational Live Stream วันนี้จะเราจะเป็นช่วงเย็นนะคะจะเป็นช่วงของภาษาอังกฤษนะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเราทราบดีนะคะว่าเมื่อวานนี้นะคะรวมกระเป๋าหมอนะคะก็พวกเรานะคะก็จะเอ๊ะจะพูดว่าอะไรเมื่อวานนี้นะคะก็เป็นไลฟ์ภาษาไทยแต่ว่าเราเปิดออปชั่นแชทนะคะเพราะฉะนั้นก็ถ้าท่านใดที่เปิดเข้ามานะคะแล้วก็สนใจอยากจะถามคําถามที่อาจจะมีจากเมื่อวานนะคะก็สามารถถามได้นะคะแน่นอนนะคะว่าพวกเราอยู่ใกล้ๆช้างได้ขนาดนี้แน่นอนนะคะว่าต้องมีพี่ควานอยู่ใกล้ๆกับเรานะคะ please English please don't talk to Thai for too long okay um what I was I forget what I want to say now I saw Pulap earlier what what is she doing Pulap is looking for more food of course so she probably wants to look for some more wines to eat rather than the Really fast, okay. There, so just a comment out. from John. Pull up slightly longer than Bo. Um, we brought her from Patia, off the street from Patia. Yes. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Good girl. All right. Well, so the elephant basically had walked out of the swamp. So we we'll basically, well, usually when you start off with checking the elephant out, you want to do what we call a far inspection or observing the elephant from a distance. So you basically can use this time to walk around the elephant if it's standing still or if the elephant is moving, you can also follow it. But you're not basically going to touch the elephant unless you want to, you know, examine some specific part. So from this position, you actually can take a look at whether they have any scarring that should be noted down. 
anything that is out of place that you want to note down. And you also can use this chance to basically gauge what we call the body condition scoring, which is to tell how the status of the elephant, is it thin, is it fat, or is it chunky? So it, it's different. But, but since, um, just how, we, how is Pulav again? 35? So Pulav is 35 and Bo is about 42. 42. So there's a little bit difference in the two. I, I think I since think. before I go for body <laughs> score, um, since um, Bo stand still with the nice uh, position, pull up. shall we start? <laughs> are you hungry, Pulap? You are, right? She always <laughs> asks for food. Look at her. I don't have any food. Lisa Sorry. just gave her um, lime earlier, so that's why Nothing she asks for more. But yeah, since they are in, on the flatland, shall we do the measuring, like tape, with what you're gonna do? What is that one called again? So with the tape, it's basically going to be what we call the near inspection or the on, you know, on the physical body of the elephant. So it's basically going to be measuring the body weight, which I try to do every month so that I can also be changing and altering their diet plan every single month so that we are not the, going to have a the lot of the elephant or we don't have to have a lot of thin elephants around and I also know that how the diet plan is affecting their weight as well. Okay, so now here we go. Now, now. Pull up. When you work with elephants, of course, it seems like you take care of um, five years old kid. <laughs> <With baby. laughs> so it takes time. Okay, Bo. <laughs> Okay, and the lucky number is. What was today? What was today number? It's done. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> What's the number? Uh, um, two six one or something. Nah, she's about. No, I mean from the lotto. Oh, from the lotto. Okay. <laughs> Good. Are you standing okay, buddy? You're standing not okay. Okay. So we will go with three sixty. Three sixty. On pull up and bow is. Okay. So okay. <laughs> this is what I just said. We should um do it while often I right hear. <laughs> So how 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 heavy she is for pull up? How heavy she is for pull up? Hold on one minute. She just dirty my tape. Hold on. So calculating the weight of the elephant is basically there are numbers of different measurement and numbers of equations that you can also do with the elephant. But for here on site, I try to go with the simplest one so that I don't have to take too many measurement on the elephant because sometimes they do get very cranky if you work with them a little bit for too much oh. ah, phone. your phone okay, okay. Oh. Lisa will come back so did this happen I think same like with um kids hospital I don't know what to like specific specific word to call but you need some enrichment some food something to keep you know kids stay there um pull up now she's um thirsty it is funny because Mahout um people just uh, brought her to the water area and she didn't drink until now so after this probably she will have to go and drink more water she's thirsty now eh, eh, eh. Toy, toy. no it's not food it was food okay so 360 right at the beginning yep so 360 you multiply that whoops that was the number there. 360 multiply she wants that your with <laughs> 18 <laughs> i'll tell you the weight okay and you subtract it by 3336 and that's her weight so that's oh. she's about 3144 kilograms so that's 3.1 i think that's pretty and good for me so she's actually on about the same if last month she was probably about 3.2 so she might lose a little bit. That's I think, fine. Yeah, pretty good. I, I She's mean, in a really good shape though. <laughs> yeah. So you can also, so with if Bo decide to come, we'll measure Bo in a little bit too. But this time, so we go back to the far inspection and where we look at the different body part of the elephant to gauge how full of a body they have. So you basically take a look at their face. So the temple, the 
the temple, <laughs> which is the area on top of the ice, whether there was a lot of gouging that's going on. The older the elephant <clears> are, <throat> the thinner and the, and the more deeper the little the dimples are going to be there. So with Pulab, she's about 35, so that's not going to be anything. It is not exactly full, but we can give her a full score from this side as well. Um, then we basically take a look at her shoulder blades. With the shoulder blade, what you don't want to see is any sort of like very sharp, um, very sharp process that go down directly from their blade onto the humerus sign. So this, you can actually see only a very, very, well, you can see the head of it, but you're not going to see that sharp T-shape that's going to come down. So that's fine. Then you basically look also over the rib cage of the elephants so, on the elephant body, where it's basically, uh, you shouldn't be seeing any rib cage that is appearing. So you shouldn't be seeing any of like, you know, your pork chop kind of thing. Rib pork and, chop. I don't know. Are you hungry? It's like that. Yeah, it's getting there. But, um, but you shouldn't see any sign of the bone that is actually protruding. And then you move along to the hip line where you're going to look at the head of the pelvis. What you should want to see is there should be a dimple in front of the pelvic itself and also a little bit right behind. It shouldn't be too pronounced where it's really sharp, where it's going to be very deep um, dimples onto both sides, but you can see parts of it as well. Okay, then you basically... Oh, hello, Bo. Bo's ready for her measurement. Is that it? Yes. Okay, let her do it first before she go back to eat. <laughs> I will let you guess how heavy she is. I know it's not nice to guess um, how heavy the lady <laughs> is, but yeah, with Bo we can. Mm. Right, Bobo? Bobo! Mm. Okay. Mom and Papa, people are going to do it with Papa. Oh, my. oh, 400 something? Yeah, 400. 400. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. You can do 410 for both? 410. 410. Uh -huh. How? Is she gain weight or anything? Four, uh, 44 now, is it? That number seemed to come up quite a lot. The other okay, time so four one zero. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, I understand. Four zero four four. Oh, you also that has reached. Ooh, okay. pretty good. So, so she's she is stable. So this is usually bow gauge. So bow usually range anywhere from about four point two to about four point one. I have never seen her go down to number three yet. So. Oh, look, snow. That is our target. Oh, look, snow. Anything after, b below that, below four. Yeah. She can be 3.9999. Yes, <laughs> but she not can. Four. Yes, she can. So, But just also, just a reminder that this is also an estimation. So it does not reflect the true weight of the elephant. So what I also try to do is to have one person do it, which is usually me going around with the mahouts and measuring all the elephants. So to minimize all the human errors that we can get with the person who measured the elephant as well. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So some elephant would also have larger frame than other elephants. So sometimes it is, you have to gauge that with the body condition scoring system as well, whether it is too thin or is it too chunky or too fat as oh, well. So that's Bo. part of it as well. Look at Bo, what is she doing? Kunpuk just say Bo seem bigger than da now. They're actually at the same weight. So if you remember from yesterday, they're actually at the same weight. So they're at four. 0.44, which is going to be something there's also you know if uh, let's see so i think with a lot of the time when you have someone that is uh fat and then they lose weight very rapidly you have an excess skin that you probably need a plastic surgery to do it to you know do the nip tuck but then elephant you shouldn't have to do it at all and she's also a very young elephant so maybe there's something else that is going on there i don't know how we can tighten the skin up but we shall find maybe a way. Exercise. Maybe that or maybe do some, I don't know, light. I don't know whether laser or anything can do anything. Okay. Light therapy or physical or something. We'll, we'll see. Another one is like pull up dimples seem deeper than elephant in mid 30 years old. Mm -hmm. If 
is it yes, no, or what happened? In the mid 30s. So it depends on where you're looking at, I would say. So I think for the sheep, it's you should have my pull up. No, 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 no. I don't have any food. I don't have any food. But then, but okay, I know. Okay. This is not food. This is a tape measure. You can smell that. Yeah. Maybe so, add food from chef. <laughs> Maybe chef have some food. Um. So. I would also say that it also would have to do a lot with how the elephant has been raised up and what kind of treatment that they had before. So if they basically had a lot of scarring or there has been some form of malnutrition before, there's a chance that it actually would affect the physical look of the elephant as well. So it's past of that. Some elephants you'll see an outright scar, which is going to be Bunma, you actually see that there are some scarring right across the forehead. So that is not going to go away. It's going to remain like that. But in some elephant, it can also, you know, get better. But maybe it's also because we're not feeding her to the point where she's actually going to be store more fat on her body across the face or the temple or anywhere else. So that's probably a good thing. So you keep okay. it fit, buddy. That's good. Okay. Now we go back to what we want to see from Pulap. So from the back side, what you also want to see is the overall rump shape or the back shape of the elephant. So something that you want to see is... <laughs> so something you want to see definitely is because... So you have to come closer because I want to see a straight view. That's what it is. So the round shape of the body back is going to tell you how the fat is deposited along the back basically. So what you want to see is you see a round shape or something like a little bit of a bridge. So if this is the back of the elephant, you want to see a small tiny hill that is building up that is not going to be round like a balloon like that. She's a round balloon over there. A oh, bit. which means she a bit fat. <laughs> a little bit over there. Um, and you don't want to see something sharp like this. So if you see something sharp like this where the bones just base the spine basically just protrude out, it's also a very thin elephant. You can see this in a lot of the male. Asian elephant because male tend to be kept at the way at the way at the minimum weight that they should be to control their mass and also um, control their aggression as well. If you have a really overweight elephant and that even that hasn't gone up to the stage, you start to see that the fat actually has become really big and it basically press onto the spine into a curve like this. So I have never seen an elephant that has a hard back shape like this yet, but in theory, if if you're really fat, you're gonna see this instead. <laughs> So okay. for most of the elephant here, it's basically still on the okay side. And definitely you want to see the base of the tail of the elephant where they also store extra fat there as well. So the base of the tail is basically where the connect where you can see the tail start to grow. So it's that little um, loose tissue that you see there. So hers pull up is not actually that bad. So it's not a very thick full like it's not really yeah. full like that. That is really full. And you know, you see the overall shape of the tail as well, where you don't want to see um, any of like segmental from the tail either. So you can tell that she's actually in a pretty good shape. So if I have to score pull lab, she would probably also get a 3.5, which is also just a little bit on the overweight side. Oh, then so someone is on a diet the number, plan. Usually the number of the, the body condition score is scored out of five. So you want an elephant to be anywhere from about three 3.5, 2.5 is acceptable for a lot of the male. But there are also a nine, a zero, a zero to seven score. There's also a one to eleven score. So it depends on what your institutions is going to adopt, and you just have to keep the system so that you always have the more accurate um, reading for it as well. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna go back to bull. So 3.5 for the yep. lab, mm -hmm. not bad. How how is that again? Just yesterday. That was a that was a five. Plus. Five five plus. That was a five plus. What do you think about Bo then? Bo was probably a four point five. Oh no. Bo still Bo can work on a little bit more, but if she can keep her keep her weight stable at about four tons, I think she will be okay at this time. I'm starting to see her spine is a little bit protruding, but I but that's acceptable to me. There is a lot more things that the there are other things that we have to fix just mm -hmm. not bow at the moment if bow can keep a stable weight it's good True. if she's still strong as well because she's still relatively young at 42 no worries about that the elephant live all the way to about 60 to 70 years old as long as they're healthy they can definitely you know live long yeah. <laughs> they can definitely live long. yeah somehow it's weird because i feel like bow looks younger than pull up 
Well, I don't know why. Ah, they also said that people that are chunky, so some people that are fat, we have a lot of fat to, uh, store in our face, so we always look beautiful. Oh, so you so have to get really, so if you So if you're really thin, <laughs> your, your cheek is going to sunk in and everything, so you're going to look old. So you got to eat more. <laughs> Please don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. Oh, someone said 42, uh, 42 is... Um, what? Nice and young. <laughs> yes, nice and young. So if you guys want to get anything look younger, definitely drink the um what is it called? The date, the date the energy drink. <laughs> energy drink. Chef ha <laughs> fan club say hi. Hello. Oh chef has a fan club. Yes, yes. of course. <laughs> so Chef Gino is our head chef at the Anantara Hotel. At the Anantara Golden Triangle Resort. Elephant Camon Resort. Elephant Camon Resort, <laughs> Resort Hotel. So he's basically also tending the herb garden here. He also has been keeping the apiary or the bee hives going and there was going to be a project about mushroom but I don't know how that will take off but yeah, we'll see soon. So if you guys are still here in Chiang Rai or in Thailand and got the chance to travel feel free to come and see us you can eat all the organic stuff that we go in here on yeah. site Food, his food is so good Yeah, yeah. Ice cream is so good as well <laughs> Okay, that's good Yeah, but yeah, I'm beast, mm -hmm. um, just chef will come to take care garden now because we have, as Nisa mentioned, a few projects that um, involve with sustainability and also guests can come to joy mm -hmm. and see our garden. Mm -hmm. And of course, definitely you guys. So this is basically just a little bit, it's a pre preliminary health check. So it tell you the general overall of the elephant. It is not meant to be like a thorough checkup. Um, similar to human, of course, you probably need a blood work to actually do to see how you're functioning, how your body is functioning, how your internal organs are doing. What is um, is there any further diagnosis that should be looking at uh, for the examination that should be looked at? So we'll have to find a lab to do that, <laughs> and of course, train the elephant to do them also, which is going to be a bit tougher because when it comes to needles, just like you and I, we don't like needles. Mm -mm. <laughs> we don't like needles either. I don't like needles. I mean. And but I our yeah. second jab of vaccine is coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. So yes, of course. So yes, thank you to the hotel that we actually going that we actually got our first um, shot of vaccine against the COVID nineteen infection. So we thank you, Yenan Char Hotel, for that. <laughs> the minor group for that as well to make sure. Oh, oh. and yeah. So we'll be getting our second mm -hmm. shot soon, and then you guys and we'll probably be able to do more projects with the elephants visiting different sites if the Hopefully. if there's no further rule against um inter province uh traveling at this time people na ha pa pula pa kinang na kada pa pula pa kinang na kada pa 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 ka pa le kada <laughs> Sorry, um, Pula seems very um, Pula thirsty has been now. trying to grab onto the water hose for some time now and I think she actually wants to drink some more water. So we're going to take Pula off for a water break and she's going to go back and go with her partner friends of friends Yuki up on the mountain. So she has quite a walk to go up to as well. Bo is probably going to be joined by Yuki <laughs> somewhere around here. She doesn't care anything. She's yeah, like, I'm, I'm hungry, you know, dinner <laughs> time. Yeah, well, it's Bo. Don't worry about it. Bo is pretty much friendly with everyone, and she doesn't mind hanging off by her, hanging out by herself as much. This is something nice that you see in older elephant where they don't need a lot of friends. Oh, it's good to have friends, but they don't really constantly need it. You don't have to be like paired together like all the time. But that's fine. As well. So thank you so much, you guys, for coming in and join us here at the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation. Uh. What is it called? Tomorrow. Elephant, <laughs> Elephant educational live stream. Okay. So if you guys like what you guys are seeing, definitely like, share, and also subscribe to our channel here at the GTAF YouTube Live. And we're also going to be returning to John daily live stream uh, Monday through Friday. That is going to be the time schedule will be posted soon tonight, and will and you guys can actually go and definitely follow through to our Facebook page at GTAF Helping Elephants over there. For this week, professional lockdown, a professional Lecture. live stream is going to be on the elephant vocalization. So you might have actually heard um, comments from Veronica before, and now this time she's actually here and she'll give a talk about the elephant sound. So we'll probably be discussing about how the elephant make different sound because we know that Food Lab is actually one of the squeaker that we have. We also have Yui and we also have Pum Pui, who have very different vocalization, and we just want to know about the mechanism of it as well. And of course, we're still on Instagram. We just might not be going on live there as much, but we will try to post as many as much photos as we can at 
DTAF underscore Thailand and definitely you guys we are a non-profit foundation in Thailand that is uh, that is registered so feel free to go to worldwideweb.helpingelephant.org slash donate to donate any size that you like we thank you for your support and of course you're keeping us alive and also the different wildlife projects that we have all around the world alive as well okay <laughs> Thank you so much, Nisa. Again, see you um, next week. Um, we still, again, don't know what we're going to do for our next um, YouTube live. So feel free to let us know and give some suggestion or anything um, from today. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye-bye.